Hello guys, Artifs here! In this video, I am going to show you how to create a simple stylized landing module from scratch. Let's get started! We start off with basic cylinder and give it a moderate amount of edges that can be divided by 4. We do it because our module will have 4 legs and basically 4 sides. We connect edges and extrude top and bottom loops. Then we make corresponding surfaces planar. You can always make loops thicker to give the model a softer cartoony look. Don't overdo the amount of chamfers. I wanted to stay below the overall poly count of 7K. After creating basic geometry, I start detaching parts I want to work on. I'll use automated retopology tool, so the amount of edges will change. It won't work on a curved surface, but our frames will help us here, as we only connect things that are flat. I prepare boolean operands of desired shape, use ProBoolean modifier, and then apply automated retopology tool several times to get the least amount of polygons that doesn't damage the shape of the model. You can always use symmetry straight after using the lean tool. Also, if you like one of the side elements you have created, you can always rotate the symmetry tool to place its copies on different sides of the model. If you aren't planning to create many details and if you are sticking to stylized look, try making all frames as thick as possible. Don't hesitate to duplicate your geometry and try various approaches. If you want to boost your workflow with the help of automated retopology tool, detach elements you wish to work on and do some iterations till the amount of their side edges matches their surroundings. As you can see here, I've used the copy of the ship's hull to create a hatch cavity from it. I fix topology and get rid of englands by using the target weld tool. Sometimes I add some extra edges with cut. Once again I detach parts of geometry I want to work on. This time we will make some windows. As I told earlier, applying symmetry straight after booleaning the hatch door would allow me to only create one window and duplicate it two times by using the symmetry again. I switch between several iterations of automated retopology to get the amount of side edges that matches the corresponding amount on the hatch wall. Having four sides makes it even easier to flatten some elements. Also, stylized approach removes some requirements for strict and flawless geometry.
Now we repeat the same process as we prepare the bottom part of the module to be connected to its supports. Don't mind the awful topology here, we will fix it once we are done with supports. I go a long way here to show you the whole process of modeling supports. The easier way around it is to retopologize the bottom part of the ship straight away, attach the leg to its base and use symmetry tool two times. I create the bottom part of the support with simple polygon editing, just extrude, chamfer, inset and bridge tools. I'll speed up this part a little bit. Finally, I retopologize the base part. My goal here is to preserve edges and to not to get overwhelmed by the increasing poly count. You can see here that one support attachment point was damaged by automated retopology. We can fix it by using the symmetry tool. Remember to clear the unwanted geometry. Finally, I create some space for nozzles and nozzles themselves. Nozzles can have relatively small amount of polygons, so don't overextend here. Finally, we want to stitch everything together. To do it, we detach, boolean, attach back and weld only those parts of geometry that actually intersect. I could have only created one support and used symmetry tool again, but I've noticed that supports have some minor asymmetrical parts, so I've decided to keep them for the sake of creating a slightly deformed look of the model. You don't have to care much about topology on flat surfaces, just keep in mind that you don't want to get any overlapping faces. I pull nozzles out a little bit, so they can be seen from the side. Then I detach windows as separate element and scale them up a little bit, so they intersect with their frames properly. I do it because I want to give them a high metalness later on, but I don't want to share it with the rest of the model. And we are done here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the content I made, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, have a great day.